New information on a robbery at a church. It happened nearly two years ago, shocking a local community. But today, the congregation is celebrating after their missing religious artifact was recovered. CBS 2's Lou Young with the story now from Yonkers. Detectives brought the missing crucifix home. On Shonard Place in northwest Yonkers, the Church of the Sacred Heart was reunited with the heavy sacred image that hung above the altar for 77 years before brazen thieves stole it in the night. It was no crime of opportunity. They probably put chairs on the high altar and then probably used wire snips to uh, cut the chains. You had to have landed. That was 20 months ago, but the thieves weren't prepared for the amount of heat the community and the police generated. Shortly after the burglary, we, we began to question individuals and exert some pressure, and um, items were found discarded in the trash. They got everything back except for the crucifix, which remained missing. Well, honestly, yes, we've pretty much given up on it. It's a heavy piece, roughly 80 pounds, but nowhere near as valuable as the thieves hoped it would be. You can see here where they cut the end, presumably to send a sample off to have it assessed. They found out they weren't rich. Most of the stuff is either cast bronze or some other type of metal gilded in silver or gold. So it sat hidden by thieves until a suspect in a petty crime last week made a deal for leniency in exchange for its location. A big deal because it's a touchstone across several generations here. This was a cross that hung when people got married, when their grandparents got married for the different sacraments. It's the, it's the center of the church. And now it's home in a church that has 24-hour video surveillance to make sure it stays that way. We're in Yonkers, Lou Young, CBS 2 News. At Yonkers, Police Commissioner Charles Garner says the recovery is especially significant to him because he's a graduate of the parochial school at Sacred Heart. So far, there have, so far, there have been no arrests, but police say they do have suspects in mind.